So we're making judgments all the time. We're, we're making judgments all the time, even just through our speech. I am hungry. You know, so-and-so is poor. You know what I'm saying? So I've made a judgment of poverty on so-and-so. Is that right or wrong? Allah will judge me on that day of judgment. Maybe I was right, maybe I was wrong. Maybe I lied. So-and-so is a liar. The judgment, I judge, I'm the judge, I'm the hakim. The hakim is me who says it. The mahkum is the person I said is a liar. He's, he's a mahkum alayhi. The judgment is on him. The judgment or the verdict falls on him. And the mahkum <coughs> bihi, the judgment, the thing that it was judged on him with, basically is being a liar. So a person has to understand those three components of a judgment. There's the judge, the thing that he's judging, and the ruling that he's giving that thing. Right? And this science, that's important for us to know. Because it is, uh, this science equips us with what we need to know how to judge information. To know how and understand how to judge information that comes to us, especially about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, peace and blessings of Allah ta'ala be upon them. Because our belief is dependent on us understanding and knowing and recognizing how to interpret information, how to interpret the information that comes to us. We know Allah Ta'ala is perfect in every way. The ways that you know, you know the, the ways that we have no knowledge of. Allah Ta'ala is perfect. All perfection belongs to Allah. All imperfection Allah Ta'ala is clear from. But the detail of that inshaAllah Ta'ala is what we will go over in this class. And inshaAllah we also will go into deeper detail about the um, wajib, the mustahil, and the jayis, inshallah <coughs> ta'ala, in our next class. So until then, may Allah ta'ala give us life and give us the ability to come back here and do this again. And inshallah, we have nothing to go over next time except that. <laughs> so we're going to dedicate the whole class just to that. All of this up to here, a lot of this was introduction. Understanding the ahkam of the aql is intellect itself. An imam as Sanusi, rahimahullah, used to say a person should study the ahkam of the aql and repeat them to their self often because it is intellect in itself. These three judgments can be affirmed or negated. We said that the mind either will affirm or negate and then we have necessary, inconceivable and conceivable. So a person will either affirm or negate and then these also break into smaller parts too. The, the, the necessary breaks into two parts. Inconceivable breaks into two parts. Jazz breaks into two parts. And they just go further and further. So inshallah ta'ala for that, we will inshallah delay that for the next class. I ask you all to make dua for me and make dua for yourselves and make dua for the ummah. May Allah allow us to all come back again to study this again. Allah ma'amin ya rabbi alameen. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi subhanakallah wa bihamdihi. Nashhadu an la ilaha la anta nasafir wa natubu alayhi. وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم